Thank you, Rick. And uh, welcome, everybody. This is a great pleasure for me to uh, join you today for the first in our new series of webinars called the eSymposium Series. And the intent of this series is, is to offer you a chance to meet some uh, very innovative uh, researchers, uh, practitioners, and, and thinkers in the world of mathematics and mathematical modeling. And today we have uh, such a distinguished guest, uh, Dr. Venkat Krovi. And uh, you'll uh, get to him, uh, we'll get to him very soon. But uh, I, I did want to give you a couple of comments to help uh, frame this uh, presentation in your minds a bit. Um, and a lot of it has to do some, with some very recent developments at MapleSoft. Um, first of all, uh, we've, uh, the product line has grown significantly uh, over the past few years. Uh, Maple 10 and Maple 11 definitely were, were the departure from the past versions of Maple with many more features to make it a lot friendlier and, and more uh, applicable to the engineering world and the modeling world. Following that, we re uh, released uh, a wide range of add-on products that really helped people in modeling and simulation develop uh, much more complex, uh, higher fidelity models. Tools like Dynaflex Pro, Block Builder, uh, and other engineering toolboxes all fall into that category. Um, so in terms of the product line, uh, we are substantially uh, richer today than we were in the past to be able to deal with engineering modeling. Um, more recently, and um, we uh, experienced some great news. Uh, we established a multi-year relationship with uh, Toyota uh, in Japan, and together we are developing a full range of innovative modeling tools that uh, apply advanced mathematical concepts and advanced symbolic computation concepts for uh, modeling applications. Um, now, you're going to hear a lot more about things like that as, as time goes on over the next months. Um, this was announced uh, later last year. Um, concurrently with that, we also, uh, along with Toyota, founded uh, an exciting new consortium called the Physical Modeling Consortium, which uh, is an industry group uh, association of OEMs or the auto companies, as well as innovative solution providers. Um, and researchers, and we, we're bringing these people together to uh, meet the challenges, the, the uh, research challenges of uh, advanced modeling uh, for the future and, and uh, with the emerging uh, engineering challenges that, that the, uh, many industries face today. And, and that is, in fact, one of the reasons why we have our invited speaker today, as he is definitely one of the the leading, uh, leading people on the research side of uh, modern uh, modeling. Um, the, the conclusion from all of this really is symbolic computation, which uh, although it's, it's an established technology for the longest time, was a pretty much specialized uh, set of tools used by certain types of mathematical research and education. But today, it's really substantially different. It has now been widely adopted as a truly enabling technology that is something that helps you do very important things that people were not able to do in the past. Um, and a lot of these applications feed directly into the next generation modeling challenges that industry faces today. So overall, that's the motivation for, uh, for the kind of topics and the discussions that uh, you're about to hear today. And uh, we're very fortunate to have the speaker uh, that we have today, uh, Dr. Venkat Krovi. Um, he's an associate professor in the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Department, and he's also the director of their Automatic Robotics and Mechatronics Laboratory. Uh, further, he's uh, the director of the Haptics and, and Robotics uh, portion of the New York State Center for Engineering Design and Industrial Innovation. A very accomplished gentleman indeed. Uh, his research um, focuses on the complete life cycle treatment, that is design, modeling, analysis, control, uh, implementation, and verification of me mechanical and mechatronic systems. Uh, his current research initiatives include uh, multi-robot collaboration, uh, human-computer interfaces for mediated teleoperation, haptic user interface design, uh, and distributed real-time simulation of control systems. Dr. Kravi uh, earned his master's and PhD in mechanical engineering from the University of Pennsylvania. Now, the focus of his talk today will be some of his recent research 
and the development of high fidelity simulation models for the haptic or sensor or touch sensory feedback uh, for steer by wire systems in automobiles. Um, he'll review both the theoretical and the computational aspects of modeling such complexity. And in the end, this type of technology uh, is destined to assist auto companies uh, in enhancing the drive experience for, for their customers, as well as uh, auto performance, and uh, of course, to increase safety. Um, so with that, I will uh, uh, ask Rick to pass presentation control to Dr. Kravi, who's joining us from the State University of New York in Buffalo. And uh, Dr. Kravi, if you can now share your desktop so that we can see your presentation. Hello, Tom? Yes. Uh, I hope you can see my desktop now. We can, and we can hear you as well. Okay, Everything's great. fine. Thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Venkat Krovi, and I'll be talking today a little bit about some of the work that we have done in haptic-enabled steer-by-wire systems. Uh, but before I get started, I wanted to give people a quick overview of some of the research activities that uh, Tom alluded to. Um, details of a lot of these activities uh, can be found from the website, from my lab's website, mechatronics.eng.buffalo.edu. And I'd invite everybody here to come and take a look. Uh, and before I get started with the actual presentation, I need to give credit where credit is due. The uh, work that you're going to see here in today's presentation is due to a lot of hard work by these following sets of students, and I just wanted to acknowledge them quickly. So um, today's talk is actually going to be excerpted from the thesis presentation of one of my students, Anand Nayak, who defended his thesis in February 2007. Um, I'll also grab a couple of slides from another presentation I made, uh, which is reported in this uh, article. And so both these would now serve as good sources for further details, if people are so interested. Uh, in terms of an overview of today's talk, there are five main sections, and I'll try to keep the discussion at a somewhat higher level, uh, and if people would like further details, I'd be happy to 